All right, let's see if this loaded correctly. Okay, I, I think it did. <laughs> All right, so this is from Eagle Die 1999. It's called April Fools. Curse Type A. Murder hobos have taken over and the crew of this ship will not stop murdering <laughs> until everything has been murdered or turned into a hobo like themselves. April Fools love murder hobos and it's a slug A or is that slug B? Is that slug B? Okay, I think it might be slug A and fed A put together. Somehow Tyler became a mod. It can't be that hard. That's right. Corn nuts are pretty good. Hmm, I've never really gotten into those. Maybe I can try those out. All right, what do we got? We got an ion flak. Fires a blast of ions that deal two ion damage each. Great for taking down shields. Hard to aim. Okay, so this is a flak that does no hull damage. Interesting. Burst laser repeater. This burst laser mark two increases speed with each charge, ending with a seven second cooldown. So it's charge laser and burst laser two put together. That's pretty OP. Oh, it has all of the systems. Okay. You do an elimination diet. <clears throat> you basically start out with just rice. Okay, okay. So Rice Krispies should be a dissonantly okay, not stomach messing up snack. That's good to know. Pain laser OP, that's right. Um, B-A-R-T, bananas, apples, rice, and toast. That's what, when you have bad acid reflux or other stomach issues helps you. Okay, that's good to know. All right, we're making ch lifestyle changes, chat. Hopefully my stomach will stop. My stomach will stop kicking my butt. Uh, how many crew do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six crew. Three weapon slots. We have an anti-ship beam drone, Mark II. This drone is just better. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, this is two damage. Basically a halberd beam drone with the ion flak doing work. Seems pretty good. I hope I have a lot of drone parts because hacking and drone control. When you put those two together, um, you can run out quickly. I love the April Fool's love murder hobos <laughs> on the side of the ship. All right, let's check out this crazy ship from Eagle's Eye. We have Gibbs for the rebellion. We have the best type of Gibbs, the invisible Gibbs. This is your first ship to have custom weapon art. Nice, nice. Oh, what do we have? The Murder Hobo Association provides you with the bonus of scrap. Mind control. Use your mind control system to convince the Murder Hobo Association control point that more is required. Representative eagerly scrambles away and adds an augment to the pile of scrap to crew loads on your ship. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. Why not just start with long-range scanner scrap recovery arm? <laughs> Excuse me. Why not? All right. Uh, this looks like this is going to be a fun, potentially very fast run. What kind of artillery is I didn't check? Flat gun with 16 projectiles. Okay. Okay. Well, if I want to use the beam drone with the ion flak, I need some power. We do have level 2 backup battery. Um, shields are slightly different priced. Am I crazy? No, they are slightly differently priced. Okay. I mean, I can't complain. We have all of the systems. Four-person teleporter. Um, I guess I could actually board as well if I want. Do we want to do boarding? Boarding build or not? We have the option. Nothing like a joke ship to innovate modding. You know that well enough, huh? Uh, the beam to advance does two damage and it pierces a shield. It's your first. Sh yeah, that's cool. Ran actually checking system upgrade prices. Sometimes I remember to do stuff. Sometimes. All right, how many drone parts? Twenty-eight drone parts. Okay, so you didn't give us a ridiculous amount of drone parts. Thought I'd turn this on. Uh, almost one shot, shot to Zelt and Shield. Okay. Uh, do I want to make this a boarding run? I mean, with two rocks and a. Oh! Oh! I almost just killed it with the. That almost ended really quickly with my artillery killing my boarding crew. That could have been really bad. 
We don't have clone bait, so that would have just killed us. How did... Oh, his Ion actually got her stuff down. Okay. Heal Bay is very far away from the uh, teleporter, so that might be a little annoying. Uh, not an insane amount of drone parts. Artillery would have helped. Would it? But it's an art. It's an art. It's, a, it's just a flak. Won't that kill my boarding crew? Gun mounted ship. Gun mounted ship that unleashes flak upon those they are opposed to you, sending 16 pieces of debris. Oh, helped. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yes, it would have helped by killing my boarding crew. I'm glad I didn't. I didn't let it help then. All right. Um, do I go to a store at 40 scrap? And I, I kind of want to keep the stuff we start with. So let's just get second shield and not um, not go to a store yet. What's up, Shinobi One? Good luck. Appreciate it. I always like your name, Shinobi One. Such a cool name. They're just pirates. Give me the free stiff. Find two OP things. One of the best Jedi with I don't know, Shinobi's a reference to like Samurai or something. Love that name. Love the blingy flak. What happens? Will it stun my own crew? It did not, okay. Damn, double hit me. Unlucky. Unlucky. Uh, in the April Fool's Day spirit, you also made the placement of the rooms rather weird, and the size of the rooms are weird compared to their normal sizes. True, the six-slot heel bay, I like. The O2 six-slot O2 is weird. Big giant door room. Uh, Silly Device approves of a very spacious door room. Uh, actually, I should probably have this weapon online if I want to do boarding strats. Okay, uh, boo, 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 yeah. Six crew can hang out in O2, that's, so that's nice, that's right. Well, it didn't start with a scrap recovery arm, but there was a blue option that did give us a scrap recovery arm, so. It kind of started with the scrap recovery arm, but it was like a fake starting with a scrap recovery arm. I don't know. Let the beam drone do some work. A beam drone do some work. And actually, hold on. I want to see this artillery fire. All right, that was a little bit the voice of a drone part. Fire from way over here. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, that that 16 uh, 16 shots. No double reward, sadly. That was a lot of flack. You're watching Naruto when you came up with your your name. Nice, nice. I've never gotten into Naruto, but I know that's a lot of people's one of their favorite anime. The big ball of trash. Goodness gracious, great ball of trash. Purposely didn't mount the artillery right for the April Fool shenanigans. Okay. Well, I know that when people forget to put artillery in, it like mounts somewhere strange up there. So I thought maybe it was a forgotten thing, but where did it... I'm not seeing what it's firing from, so I guess it's maybe an invisible firing thing. Asteroid field and solar flare. Okay. Alright, well it can't do damage to us, so... Let's not worry about turning on artillery or beam drone or anything. Just above and to the left of the, the booster from the fed part of the ship. So it's like somewhere up here. Yeah. I should have ion flacked. I think that would have just one shot his open shield potentially. The artillery cooldown is insanely upgraded. Hmm, I don't know what it is. I wonder if it told me in the uh, description that I missed it. I'll check it. 
dee, dee, dee. I like how it's kind of a hodgepodge of ships and crew with spray paint on the side. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, does it say artillery? 18 seconds, 12, 9, and 6. That gets pretty insane. Pretty insane. <laughs> I also like the murder hobo, um, you know, MMO reference too. It's great. Uh, we'll use we'll use the artillery more against you know ships we're not boarding probably. All right. So what do I want to do with this overpowered ship? What meme tastic stuff should we do? I want to go to store fifty two scrap. I don't really want to sell anything. I kind of want to go one two three four. Okay, turn off teleporter, turn on, turn on artillery. Let's, uh, let's let artillery do something here. I think the missile mod might not be, well, I'm not sure if it's proccing or not, actually. Or if I'm just getting unlucky, lucky, because I was expecting to say, why are you dodging everything, or whatever he says. Whatever Pass Rand says. Artillery versus the flagship after we crew kill. Oh, okay. Full artillery kill after we crew kill? Sounds like a good meme. Just board them really fast before the artillery goes off. Makes things interesting for the crew. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't do that. So I do this. Control one man to, uh, that was the wrong dude. My control is fine. Beep, beep, bum, bum. Only thing we would want in stores is a clone bay. Yeah, and even then, I don't know if I'd want it because I'd have to clone after every fight. Although, you know what I might want from stores is clone bay plus, um, reconstructive, so I don't have to heal after every fight. So maybe checking stores for reconstructive would be worth just to make the uh, the boarding restarting faster. Do, 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 do. And if we are going full boarding mode, then you know Zolt Shield bypass is always important or useful. All right, ASB quest beacon. This I think can be a lot of different. Well, maybe it's always just an auto scout flight. Can't remember. All right, let's see if this shield-piercing drone does some work. This guy's got value point shields. I'm not really allowed to complain with how overpowered our starting build is, though. <laughs> I'm not allowed to complain about anything. Um, it's never stopped me before, though. So I'll probably still complain about stuff. My God-given right to complain, complain about FTL. Let's get a bunch of auto reloaders. Yeah. Okay. Store with Clone Bay. Do I go ahead and get it? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Did it work? Okay. Good. It's not one of those where the modder forgot to put it in and we waste 50 scrap. Proof of that. Uh, defense drone is like the one actual drone I'd want. So let's take that for. Missile defense. Fire beam drone memes. Cloaking system system hack can be built around. It has extra levels, huh? What is this? NG checkpoint. You hail them seeking trade. They don't seem interested in any of your goods. Said they seem to be interested in your shield system and pass you by. Uh, you pull into the NG checkpoint. After threatening all sorts of vile and terrible acts of murder hobodom, they offer some rewards. <laughs> Lightly decline. You don't want to intrude. Your murder hoboness is only partially working. Perhaps you should work on your scowl. Not one to miss an opportunity to take advantage. You use your basic mind control to alter the edgy's outlook and become scared by your threats. Yes. Lean fully into our murder hoboness. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like how you add all these extra... 
uh, flavor text for killing people and taking their stuff. Great. Well done. Oh, don't mind control my dudes, though. Oh, this is trolley. Man, this guy can't damage us. So, artillery, do your thing. Let artillery get the kill. You say it's insanely fast, and I still get two shots off with my weapon before it fires. Although, I want to get a little bit more weapon training, so... Oh, crap, I don't think I tend to fight right. Oh, there we go. Nice. Store. 51 scrap. I could sell something to get Zone Shield Bypass. Meh. Let's go get scrap. April Fool ship. We don't have to force it like a real boarding ship. No need to force things too hard. Giggity, that's what she said. There are extra special stuff in rock, NG, and civilian sectors. Nice, nice. Okay, almost did damage to us. Give them nothing, NGs feel no fear. And also, I'm a murder hobo, so I don't give away stuff. I only steal stuff. That's how it works here. Max out your shields, teleporter, cloaking, and weapons you gave with the RPG treatment. Certain systems will max out your system for cheap. So we can't get that high level of weapon control. Only level, was that six? Drone control looks same. Wow, 500 scrap to upgrade teleporter to level four. 500 to level 5 cloaking. Wow, there's some crazy, crazy upgrade stuff going on here. All right, we'll see how much scrap we can get. Okay. No Zolten Shield Bypass. What else did I say? Basically, it's augments we would want. I don't care about any of that. Buy an NG for NG sector. Meh, we're all more already maxed on crew almost, so... Buying crew when you're close to max on crew doesn't ever feel good to me. Free stuff, though. That always feels good. Yeah, reconstructive. That's what I'm looking for. And you max out your shield system for 50, but you have to have them almost maxed. Interesting. Okay. I probably am not going to remember that, but I'll try. How does no cooldown work? No cooldown on what? And reloader to reloader. There's another flak. Another adva advanced beam. Well, um, no cooldown on teleporter. Is that what you're asking? You can just instantly teleporter over and over again. Pretty simple. You teleport, and there's no cooldown. <laughs> I mean. Pretty straightforward. Don't know how else to describe it. Um, we're boarding run, but I kind of want to get on my reloader for the uh, artillery later. For those who don't know, uh, the one thing that does affect how fast uh, artillery fires is not on my reloader, and I don't like having maxed augments. So I'm actually gonna sell scrap recovery arm. I know, I know. Best dogma in the game, yada 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 memes. What's the shtick with this ship? Something about hobos? It's a murder hobo ship. Murder hobo, which is a reference to when we play WoW, we talk about MMOs. I mean, anybody have the link to the YouTube short I did? Or basically, you're a homeless person going around killing other people because non-homeless people tell you to. So, you know, murder hobo, D&D type of description. You can also just max out the system in the Fed base Sector 8. Interesting. Damn, if I had bought NG, we'd had a blue option NG sex event there. Surely we have to go for the max upgrade artillery. I probably will. It's, we're just, we're a long ways away from that currently. 
Rock engine sim systems give you extra stuff with your mod, especially upgrade mind control. Okay. So upgrade mind control, huh? All right, well, let's see if we have a, what'd you say? Rock engine or Civ next before I do that. All right, lots of free stuff. Stop killing your friends. Okay, he can't damage us except my crew when he mind controls them. I keep thinking I should really power my ion flak first, but then I realize this is a chain burst laser, so. The more it fires, the faster it gets anyway. Murder Hobos are a really old RPG reference about adventurers who just wander around killing everyone who won't give them their stuff for free. True. Ha 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 Buy one reloader, get a second one for just one penny. That's why I don't like having extra augments. If I hadn't sold scrap recovery arm, I would have had to just give away my scrap recovery arm or long range scanners to have that second automated reloader. Two of three, chat. Two of three. Yes, I know Murder Hobo is an old reference. I first heard it when I started playing D&D. &D. And I just talk about it a lot when we play WoW, because it's kind of the same thing. All right, civilian. You said civilian. Rock and Ninji have bonus stuff. So let's do level two mind control. While doing one or two other upgrades. Like dodge power. And see what that gets us. Buy one automated reader, get one for just one penny. All right, Murder Hobo Association provides you with a bonus of scrap. Mind control to convince them that more is required. <laughs> God. The reigniter for free. All right, April Fool's chat, you're OP. I guess I got to replace my long-range scanners, which uh, sucks, but, um, you know. Damn, I wish I could... I wish I could internalize and augment, but... Reigniter double automated reloaders just kind of too good, right? You got educated in the murder hobo Dom from Rand. I don't know what Dom means. Domination. All right. Well, maybe I need to start going into some weapon upgrades now that I have pre-igniter double off and double automated reloader. That's kind of ridiculous. Just kind of. I mean, I guess I can train quickly here. Or how to get a, get a, at least one shot every fight off here. One shot off every fight. So maybe I don't go, um... Clone Bay Reconstructive here. Too many good augments, not enough augment spaces. First world FTL problems, chat. All right, well, um, let's do weapon power. I can pre ignite this. I do want to do a clone bay upgrade eventually so we can heal a little bit more per fight, uh, per jump. Now, well, nice little civilian nebula to get some extra scrap too. Need to grab the code from RPG that allows you to internalize augments, yeah. I mean it's a it's a small thing, but the bigger your OP ness, the better. That's my that's my philosophy. I'm actually gonna let these guys refresh some of my boarding uh, some of my dudes. You guys are low. Go get refreshed. Free humans? Don't you know that you must murderize yourself? Please, murder, moiterize yourselves. Moiterizing, moiterizing. Merchandising, merchandising. Go. 
Ion flak burst charge, uh, burst chain laser. Uh, how many jumps do we have if I go through all the nebula jumps? One, two, three, four, five. So five gets us, five gets us one, two gets us two, three gets us two, five gets us three. We have three extra jumps, so we have 11. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So if I beeline it to the quest after going through the nebula, I should get all these. Fire beam is a must now. Oh, we could pre-ignite it. That's true. Pre-ignited fire beam with my rock boarding. I will say the ion flak is uh, not super accurate. So it's like uh, flak two levels of wideness, I guess. How many shots is it? It's five. So it's five ion shots in... Black to spread, I guess. That's some fast weapons, though. Pre-igniter, double automated reloader, man. Honestly, I kind of want to go for a full flackening with a build like this. That was a lot of dodges. It's 10 ion damage in total. It will one shot all shields of the ions hit. Nice, nice. It's pretty strong. It's, pre it's pretty good. It sounds balanced. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Uh, we have clone base. We can manly search. Beautiful. The real reason we wanted uh, clone base so we can manly search without any issues. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this should work. All right. Well, at least these humans brought snacks. Holy crap! That is a lot of humans. That is a lot of humans. Close the door on them. Okay, uh, wow, you died really fast. I guess it's just, it's just Zeltan things. I thought, shh. Uh, maybe I vented you a little bit or something, but you seem to die really fast there. I mean, an OP flak that takes four power, but is only attainable from starting on some ship or from going to abandoned sectors. It's not on this ship, though. Okay. All right, so not on this ship. Gotcha. I look forward to playing the ship with the OP flak. Okay, empty jumps are empty. I like how you just smushed these two ships together. <laughs> uh, that's great. I right, double bombs. Let's clone bay. Uh, okay, uh, I think we better do some weapon hack 4v1 shenanigans here. I think that's the second missile we've been hit by while cloaked this run so far. Not super lucky. Or maybe the first one, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Free repair. Okay. They did two damage and then 
deleted the two damage. Oh, cool cloak image. It's just that they, they turn black. That's pretty cool. I hadn't noticed the cloaking image yet. Well, let's refresh our two mantids here. No, not you. You two guys. Uh, OP flak, so flak. You can ion flak the room you are in with no rules. Oh, that's true. I can just ion the weapons. My bad. I should have been doing that. Runner's over. We took two damage that got instantly healed. How will we ever recover? Not even that OP. Yeah, yeah. I could have ion flak the weapons. I didn't think about that. Good call. Good call, Eagle's Eye. Good call. The good part of an ion weapon. It won't actually hurt my own crew. Which is weird because it still sounds like a flak, so it sounds like hurt me. The audio cue on it makes me think it's going to hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Uh, what other upgrades? Let's do Columbia upgrade. More heals per jump. <laughs> Another eye on flak. Uh, defense scrambler, repair arm. Damn, I shouldn't have done those two upgrades. I could have bought a heavy laser. A heavy laser would be a great little bonus thing, but um, let's. Um, I could sell the beam drone, but this is gonna be really good for getting through Zoltan Shield face with the boss. So let's not do anything there. Uh, that quest was not super useful unless we did get some reward apart from just the store. I'm not sure if we did or not. Honestly, no reason not have Ion Flak auto-firing. That's true, especially for training. I should do that. So, let's do it. Board there and auto-fire Ion Flak. I guess the one reason to not auto fire would be. Well, more free crew. Um, if I want their weapons to stay online to get us training or something, that might be the only reason. Alright, let's put. Uh, let's get an RPG Nerdos. We didn't have uh, an RPG Nerdos on shields last run. In honor of RPG Nerdos' previous ship. Welcome aboard, Rock Guy and RPG Nerdos. Ion build incoming, nah. Ion flak build. Could have gone for ion flak build, but only three ions. Meh. Not enough ions to make it work. Gosh, okay. The other reason I don't want to auto fire, when I hear my gun fire and I have crew on their ship, I freak out. I freak out that I just accidentally killed my own crew. Uh, we do have clone base, so it's fine, but it still freaks me out when I'm like, oh crap, I, 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 I auto fired while well, I'm trying to not kill my own crew. There is no flak sound that I hear that I don't think, uh oh. We're gonna do whole damage or something, so that's the real reason I probably won't auto fire is because of audio cues that I'm too used to playing around. Okay, he's running. You know, I have to personnel drone. Okay. We need to issue the boarding crew with a second set of underwear. The flak is too scary. <laughs> Sir, why are you firing flax at us? Oh, I'm not. It's, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's like water gun. You can barely tell. It, it doesn't hurt, I promise. NG Homeworlds are uncharted. So we don't have long range scanners anymore. Let's go, NG Homeworlds.
Uh, okay, continue to do the mind control stuff, yes. My mind control system just lays there, turned off. How utterly terrible would it be to flip it on? <laughs> Why buy an ion flat one when you can get one for free? All right, love it, love it. Um, I wonder what level three mind control would get us from these free events. What's up, Barbara G? Welcome back. You're on our ship as our Zelton on shields. Maybe make the sound of the ion flak firing a clown nose honk. <laughs> oh man, there's the reconstructive though. Reconstructive when I got auto auto pre igniter. Oh, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. It's too good. Auto auto pre igniter is just too freaking good, man. Rand, did you know you can use hacking to make the enemy shoot themselves? Just wait if they fire the weapons to trigger the hack and the shots will reverse and strike them instead. That is incorrect. Um, I sure hope you're not spreading that information on Reddit or something. No, I didn't know that's possible because it doesn't work that way. Alright, teleporter. Crap. Well, I do need an NG, so... Damn, all these crew are useful. I guess it's this uh, rock I just got, I gotta get rid of. Sorry, Liu Jun. You wonder if that's a Fools of April. Ah, uh, yes, that was an April Fools. I should have known. I should have known. An April Fool, if you will. What if I won't? What if I won't? Will you take that back? All right, heavy laser two, chain laser. I'm not really sure why I'm going to the stores. I guess I'm just gonna buy fuel. That's what I'm doing. All right, uh, let's go hack two power, and then maybe work towards weapon upgrade. Maybe teleporter upgrade. You are named Will, so this applies. Oh, okay. I don't need missiles for this, so... okay. Mr. Bread Paps was fooled. Well done. Dern the Hermit. Fooled him. And there's the NG quest. NG Homeworld's quest that I really don't care about. But we can crew kill, so actually... I can't do that. Get boarding crew kill makes that worthwhile. Oh, I did that completely backwards, damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, uh, hack weapons then. I don't want to get missile on. Or I just use. I have 39 drill parts. Let's just, um, uh, turn on the event drone that I bought. It's fine. Eagle's Eye signature level 5 cloaking possibility. That's right. Signature. Now that's interesting. If you tell something to hack, then deep power, it keeps the little hack symbol on it? I don't think I do that. I did not know it did that, I don't think. Feels like I'm boss ready. Well, I mean, the ship kind of starts boss ready. <laughs> it started with these weapons, except for this bonus ion flak, and just all these systems not leveled up once or twice. So, yeah, this ship kind of starts boss ready. It's all of the systems. All of them. Uh oh. Something bugged with hacking. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, it crashed! Uh-oh. I've not seen that bug before. Uh-oh. Oh, God, I hope that didn't crash. The... I hope that doesn't make this run die. Apparently hacking something, then depowering. Okay. I'm going to do one more jump before I turn hacking back on, because I'm afraid... I'm afraid I broke something. And if we go one more jump, it'll, like, save again, I think. Okay, good reward. I'm going to jump and then turn on hacking and see if anything happens. A 
Okay, no bonus in this one. Not enough power. Okay. I powered and depowered hacking, nothing happened. Alright, that was that was weird. Four nebula jumps in the Zoltan sector. Uh, I don't really care about Zoltan nebulas, do I? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So if I get here an 8. So... Maybe one nebula in seven, so seven, six, five. Okay. Okay, intruders on board, center shut off. Let's kill your friends. Kill your friends, please. One person I didn't want to go in that room. Uh, Eagle's Eye did the RPG Nerdos treatment, where it's extremely expensive unless you go to a specific system or upgrade at the Fed base. That's right, RPG. You are, you are an inspiration to other modders. It's a very good mechanic. Yeah, it is. It's it's, it's interesting. It gives you incentive to look for certain things and to get. Bonus upgrades and stuff. It's really cool. Alright. Uh, okay, you guys kill each other. Please. While I... What do I have? I have heal bay. While I hack heal bay, board here, shoot weapons. To vent through, vent through piloting, which is not ideal, so I guess I'll just do this. Every time that ion flak fires, I'm like, oh no, I fired at my own crew, and it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, chat, it's fine. Just weapon training, that's all we're doing, just weapon training. I'm gonna need to refresh my crew after this fight. Oh, he actually killed that. Okay. Holy crap, we just got a beam drone mark four? Or is that another one of these advanced ones that we had before? Let's refresh the youth for you guys. Okay, another beam to advance. That's the second free one of those we've got in this run. Holy crap. What's up, man, man? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Why do you see result of vigorous copulation of slug ships with fed ships? Uh, well, man, man, you'll appreciate it. This ship is the murder hobo ship of an April Fool's ship. It says, April Fools love murder hobos. So, a murder hobo inspired ship where we're murder, murder hoboing everybody. Love how awful the internal door placement is on this ship <laughs> on purpose. Yeah. Extra training on my borders is nice. Eh. They have to refresh, so I don't know it was that useful, but it's fine. Okay. We care about distress beacons and Zoltan sectors. Maybe. Um, let me do. Teleporter doors power. But I'm doing well, Madman. How was your Easter? Did you do anything or did you just chill out? Alright, so helping the Zoltan is what I usually do so I can fight a Mantis ship and not a Zoltan ship. Here, I feel like I need to be careful about the Ion. Because. 
And the asteroids are now going to kill a ship. Um, that could be bad. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, yes. And didn't I just refresh my crew? I guess I didn't refresh all of them. Well, they just took a lot of damage because that was a mantis. Uh, devil mantis attacking that. A couple of those rock guys. All weekend you were grinding POE like mad? Oh yeah, how did it go? Already halfway through the Atlas, fun stuff. I did watch a couple of uh, videos about this league of PoE. Kriparian put out a video about how he doesn't like this league because he plays Ruthless, and this league is kind of impossible and Ruthless or something like that. Um, store. I think I do have stuff to sell. Asteroids are dangerous, yeah. We're fine. We got Colombia. It's fine. Uh, we have NG blue option. Beautiful. This league definitely feels more hard due to the boss changes. Well, he what he was talking about is the... Um, you select the modifiers for each zone, and that's kind of crazy insane for... Uh, for Ruthless... However Ruthless works or something. I, I only watched... I mean, it's like a 30-minute video. I watched like 20 minutes of it. Since I'm not really playing the league, I was only like kind of watching it because I had nothing else to do. I guess I should keep this drone for Phase 3. And I could buy an anti-drone for Phase 2. And I could buy a hull repair to be super safe. I'll buy the anti-drone, but not the hull repair. I think we're already super safe. Super serial. Wait, can I not get eight here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't unless I go through the nebula, so I guess I am going to go through the nebula at least once here. All right, uh, what do I want to upgrade? I could max out my weapons. I could get more dodges, so our dodge training goes up. Quicker, potentially. Maybe shield value. Just get a couple defensive protection things. Act bosses are reusing maps, and you hate the shiznit out of it. And yeah, monsters can get some absolutely insane buffs. Overall, the scarab and mapping changes are very sweet. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's cool. We one-shot the Zoltan shield here. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Shoot weapons. Okay, he blocked a shot there. I control one guy. Okay, good. Fight is now safe. All right, a lot of explosions. I'm gonna have to refresh my dudes again. God, it's annoying fighting a bunch of Zoltans. I also watched a video or two about uh, Path of Exile 2. Um, Darth Microtransaction and Llama SC2. We're talking about their uh, early access playthrough of it, or invitational to check out Path of Exile 2. It's interesting to hear the good and the bad about it. Zoltan shields cease to exist in the presence of Ion Flak. That's true. This Ion Flak just deletes these shields, that's for sure. Okay, 158 scrap, we have uh, NG quest beacon shenanigans here that we want to board and kill them all before we do too much hull damage. Alright, so what we do is we hack weapons, we board weapons. Hold off on the teleport a bit, let's get the hack over there so we can 4v1 him to start, there we go. Okay, we kill all the crew. This will get us the reward leading to the NG quest. And this was the decoy. Alright, we would have killed him either way. 
there was a probably a comma or not a comma in the text there, which would have told me if that was the real one or not. I always forget that thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if I get one nebula in this jump, and I get all these jumps. Okay. Love murder hobos. <laughs> so goofy. Um, I don't want to do this. I'm not black this, I guess. Make the fight safe. I'm gonna let that hit for potential dodge training. Damn. Damn, dodge training was not successful. Alright, more free stuff. Now we're fighting like non stop rock and mantis ships, which is making for not ideal fights for me to not lose a bunch of health on my borders. I should probably get level 3 clone by just for bigger heals between jumps. You prefer to just ion flak weapons if the shields ever get in the way, they get deleted anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Not completely disabling every ship so that I can maybe slowly get a little bit of dodge and shield training. Like a poor man's rich man's training simulator thing. So I get a little training without having to, um, you know, sit and train at a fight. Uh, let's see, because that's that is the one downside of disabling weapons every time or cloaking weapons every time is you never get dodge training. So let's do it this way. Heck, a heal day. Oh, it's a rebel rigor is the uh, quest. That's annoying. Let's do this. Let's kill. Let's Beautiful. All right, and it did give me the quest marker on this part of the map, so... I was thinking it would put it, put it into the next sector, but it did not. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, that's as long as it didn't put it there, we didn't lose a jump for it. Two, three, four, okay. So this is going to be... What is this? It's gonna be a free augment and repair and something else. I forget what the NG quest is. Exactly. It's been a while since I've actually done it. Alright, delete the shields. Hit some weapons. Or not hit some weapons. Let's see if I can convince them to kill their friends here. So if I do this. Then we mind control this guy. Open the door. They will all fight in there. Most of them will. Oh, that's some really good dodges. There we go. Alright, now there's only one left to explode on us. Two. Hey, actually getting a little bit of dodge training, I think. Blow them away with a six second artillery. I do need to start upgrading artillery if we're going to use that for the final boss. Um, I just, the thing is, when I board, I don't want artillery on because we kill our own crew with that. So I'll do an upgrade or two into artillery to prepare for the full upgrade. I know, only 42 drone parts. You might need to watch out. <laughs> oh, this is the one. Okay. That's the one where if you kill the ship, you take 15 whole damage. We are actually properly equipped with every augment, I mean, every system in the game. All right, so. All right, that should be the fight. Maybe we'll get some training here. A little bit of dodge training, nice. I know, we're upgrading artillery. Uh, my April Fool's joke for the day is, chat, guess what my new favorite system is? Artillery. It's the best. Just the best. All right, so let's repair that and uh, maybe a little bit of scrap, but okay, we're leaving that behind. 
There's my only attempt at April fuel pools. I all of a sudden love artillery. About the dart launcher from the previous run, enemies can have it, but it's pretty bad on them because AI can't aim shots at one room. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like I remember that weapon when we went to the coral sector, the underwater sector, and it freaking me out. All right, free some slaves. Welcome aboard, GM foe. Um, sorry, but we're gonna have to kill you. You freed me just to throw me out into space. What is this? Oh, this is Sparta or something. How's our weapon training going? Not too shabby. Who do we want to vent? <laughs> I guess the one thing we could do is um, maybe get an NG with shield training since the, I mean our engine training since our NG doesn't have NG training. Piloting training NG, huh? Nah. Why can't I hold all this crew? Uh, rebel or rebel? Such choices, much wow. Guess I'll go rebel. Alright, store. This quest is the don't kill the ship or it'll explode. We have a good dive sector. Alright. Damn it, I keep defense drone would have gotten me just scrapped there instead of crew that I can't use. Um, I feel like I want to work towards a weapon upgrade next. Let's do that. We have a store coming up. Maybe I would get... Man, what would I even buy at a store? I have my weapon augments. Wow, this is a really strong ship. Holy crap, that is an 8 power weapon system with 4 shields that I need to not kill the ship. Actually insane. Uh, I don't want to do this. Okay. I want to make the fight safe first, so we do that. Oh, and they're not going into the heal bay room. I guess because it's ioned? That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that mechanic before. They will not go into heal bay room if it's ioned. That's new. I did not know about that mechanic. Haha, <laughs> free Albert beam. Alright. Should use defense drone against what? All right, well, I'm pretty sure I have some stuff to sell. Burst laser is pretty OP. Well, I was going to go double ion flag burst laser, but with the halberd beam, I think I am going to want to use that for killing the ship quicker, the boss quicker. Although, we plan on using crazy flak for the final kill, right? <laughs> but I guess against no. Oh, wait a second. I only have six weapon power. Crap. Crap, I can't actually use this unless I swap between weapons, can I? Whoopsie. 
All right, if I get a one power weapon... No, okay, I'm just gonna say that's a value point I screwed up. I did it on purpose. Totally didn't want double eye on flak. I totally didn't want that. Oopsie. Yeah, yeah, I, for I for completely forgot about the only six weapon power. That was just a... A brain fart of forgetting the weird fact that you can get like 20 shield power but only six weapon power on this ship. Um... What do I want to upgrade? Here's cloaking, max artillery, max axe. Just a couple of random upgrades here. Max out the artillery that I'll probably only use against auto scout ships. Maybe the build needs a chain laser. Yeah, maybe it does. Here we go. Let's see how quickly this crazy artillery fires when it's fully, fully powered. I'm curious if it fires as quickly as these things reignited. Or, uh, okay, so it fires before one volley of these, so that's pretty interesting. Oh god, this is going to suck. I think I take damage here. Alright, it fired twice in the time that we fired three times with reigniter and double artillery, uh, double auto reloader. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I think this I think this artillery might be able to solo phase two and three of the boss. I think we're gonna try that. Maybe go super high level cloaking. Super high level cloaking max artillery build for after phase one when we crew kill. We well, can go for that meme. Right, so if I go through three nebula jumps, I can get this in nine. I need to be here in four. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. No, I get. Yes, because this is an eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. There we go. We'll go cloaking artillery meme. That'll be the build, chat. That's the build. Whenever we're not crew killing, it's cloaking artillery meme. Although we'd kind of want stealth weapons if we were going to do that with firing our weapons, but I'll plan to not use our weapons that much, probably. Well, we did not get any dodges until we cloaked. Sad. <laughs> wow. The second flak artillery fires almost by the time the first one lands. That's going to be really strong on the boss. That's going to be very strong. Big gun go bang. That's right. Gun mounted ship needs some loving. That's right. Well, we're apparently fighting nothing but auto scouts. So here we go. We get to see it in action here. Get to see it in action. Does it one shot him? Almost. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Beep, boop, beep, boop. This really is nothing but auto scouts in this uh, invisible place. What am I talking about? The, uh, I don't know, I did that backwards. Damn it. The, uh, Nebula. Nebula, aka Invisible Place. Ooh, I almost... Actually, I might have been too late on that, and I just got a lucky dodge there. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, I miscalculated. I needed to get one more jump in, I think. Oh, well. Tortilla is a little broken. It's perfectly balanced as all things should be, just like the rest of the ship. That starts with maxed, not maxed, but all systems. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. But Flack isn't good against auto scouts. Kappa, lol, lol, kappa. Another mantis. Would I rather have 
two rock, two mantis boarding, or three mantis, one rock, potentially four mantis. Ah, uh, man, my rocks are basically full trained. Sorry, king. You're a king, but you're not a king on my ship. King of venting here. Uh, manly search. Beautiful. Why not do the blue option there, chat? I mean, Rand. Um, because there's a chance you get nothing from the blue option there. That's why. In case somebody asks later on YouTube or something. Alright, what are we doing here? Um, <laughs> Stun Bomb is actually maybe kind of usable here. Randomly. Is Manly Search better than the blue there? You didn't know that? Yes. Um, the blue option in the Half Power Nebula. <laughs> Yo, dog, you dropped the scrap recovery arm back in Sector 2. No, no, I sold it, but thanks. Um, the blue option that's level 2 piloting in that Manly Search event is a 50 50 of getting stuff or getting nothing. So it's good if you don't want a Chancer Crew or don't have Clone Bay. It's bad if you have Clone Bay because Clone Bay is always guaranteed gains. Although there is a small chance that you can take hull damage too, so if you're like real low on health, there might be a reason not to do the blue option over the other. Wow, I have 440 um, bank scrap right now. Get every value point I haven't gotten yet. Okay. All right. Now that you sold the second ion flak, that made room for the fire beam. True. Totally did it on purpose to get the fire beam. Totally did it on purpose. Keep doing this with my weapons backwards. I'm so lazy. Does he have Clone Bay? He does not. You know what? Let's just kill him with artillery. Artillery, do your thing. It's your thing. Do what you wanna do. <laughs> I just realized that this artillery can breach. The op keeps getting bigger, chat. The OPness continues to grow. Do, 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 do. Dude, these devil mantis killed it before the rocks even got to the other side of the ship. Learn to run faster, rocks. And this troll no door being here means they have to go all the way around rather than running through right there. <laughs> Trolly door in this. Uh, April Fool ship. I mean, Abandoned 7, nah. Well, wait, you said we can get some special flak in Abandoned Sector, didn't you? Killing with kindness and artillery, but mostly with artillery. There's a chance at whatever the OP flak is, but there's also the civilian free stuff. Oh, you can't get that OP flak on this ship. Oh, okay. I thought you said you can get it in Abandoned Sector or on that special ship. But I guess it's only on the special ship. Okay, I should have got level 3 mind control for this. <laughs> Another free augment. Alright, we're just leaving augments and free crew floating behind our ship now. You thought the ship already had too much OP-ness. You're true. You're, you're right about that. You're right about that. But there it is. Oh, uh, we found it, chat. There's also stealth weapons. But we found what we were looking for. We found it. There it is. Ion Flak, Burst, ch Chain, and Fire Beam pre-ignited. Alright, how many jumps do we have this sector? It's a big civilian sector nebula. I'm glad we came here, so... By all of you all. And another scrap cover. I'm keeping that for Phase 2 of the boss. Not that it probably even matters. You know what? I'm not going to keep that because we're going to kill... F Artillery is going to do so much work. I'm actually selling all this. I'll keep the defense drone, but... Artillery is just going to 
slam phase two and three of the boss. We'll kill you with the power of friendship and this artillery I found. <laughs> Fire beam, show the pirates how to intimidate settlers. Just in time. Why buy a anti-drone drone when you can just get one for intimidating settlers? You're adding uh, the OP flak into every ship in the future, so any ships you play of yours after Omega-4 will have the ability to get OP flak in abandoned sectors. Good to know. Good to know. Now I gotta decide if I wanna even use Fire Beam when I'm boarding with Mantids, so. Guess I can burn the low health NG or something. There are a lot of NGs and rock on rock crew on this ship. It take a long time to. Uh, burn anything down. Okay, thank goodness for dodges, because my apparently my defense drone was on break or something. Come on, defense drone. Don't be on break so much. Okay, weapons are done. Charging. That's good. Uh, greetings. Is this a Fed plus Slug mashup? Yes, it is wisely chosen. This ship is called April Fools. We're celebrating April Fools with two different viewerships created just for April Fools today. It's pretty awesome. And we have people experienced and fun enough to come up with these crazy ideas. Heal your guys. Get the other two borders healed up. Meh. Meh. I'd have to kill them to clone them to heal them. So, meh, that's what I had to say. Is there a level 4 clone base? Sadly, no. Um, do that upgrade. Cloaking upgrade. Why not backup battery upgrade? Maybe work towards shield upgrade, because it's cheap. You know that it isn't known when April Fool started. No, I didn't know that it wasn't known, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> See what I did there. All right, well, fire beam not super useful here. But hey, maybe it'll start some fires. Is it an April Fools to say that nobody knows when April Fools started? Is that an April Fools? You're referencing the ability to hack the enemy med bay and heal your crew with it. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Sadly, that is not how hacking heal bay works. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I hope they'll get all of these. No, not Jill. It's fine, it's fine. That doesn't work, it's insane, it should be a mechanic. Well, the way Heal the Hack works, like every hack, it basically makes that system go in reverse. So weapons charge, you hack it, weapons go down. Shields charge, you hack it, shields go down. Piloting makes you dodge the higher it is, you re remove the dodging. Healing makes your health go up, hacking heal bay makes your health go down. The good thing is it doesn't make your own crew in heal bay go down in health. That's like the trade-off of it not healing your crew. At least you can do damage to an enemy crew in their hacked heal bay while not taking damage yourself. I don't need an extra crew, so we do that. That's your goal in life to make it work. To make hacking heal bay heal your own crew, huh? Good luck. That feels like a hardwired thing into the code, but uh, good luck on that. How do I do this? I just hack weapons, board weapons. 
It might be boring, but it's the uh, safe way to do things. So I do that. Wait, I meant to attack their weapons. Uh, it's fine. We can hack their weapons. Actually, we want to fight them with our rock dudes in a fire while it's on fire. Don't need auto fire anymore. Weapons are already fully trained. Beautiful. Think you're gonna sign up for some scuba diving classes like I did? Really, Shogi? Do I recommend it? How many sessions did I get out of it? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, if you want to get into scuba, I mean. Um, it would probably be better in California because you actually have an ocean to go dive in. In Texas, that was, we, our classes were in a pool and then a muddy lake for our final lessons. So I don't recommend the muddy lake for final lessons, but I definitely recommend getting into scuba diving. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I had two or three pool training sessions there's a lot of online learning. Like, the most annoying part about it is if you get, get your PADI, PADI certification, I think that's what it's called. You have to take all these online certification courses and it's like, it's hours. So that's the most annoying part of it. But, um, yeah, so like, two to three sessions of uh, like pool training, and then I don't know where you'd go for your like final training, but I would hope it would be somewhere near the beach in California, which would sound awesome. I would love to go diving there. But yes, I would absolutely recommend it. Super fun. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it is kind of only worth it if you go on dive trips because I spent six eight hundred dollars on the lessons and the gear and then i haven't been diving since i took the lessons but i am certified now so i just have to do like a short refresher if i ever did go on a trip so you could argue it's a waste of money but uh i'm hoping i will go on dive trips if you ever want to go on a dive trip shogi let me know i'll totally go took scuba diving class in college the certification dive was in a quarry lake in january in upstate new york oh <laughs> That sounds miserable. I'm sure it was amazing. <laughs> that sounds actually horrible. I know all about Delta P then, huh? What? Uh, I don't remember that. Delta P. Although if you're talking about calculating like how much air you have left and all the different... I remember there being all these weird symbols for planning your dive if you don't have like a dive watch calculator thing and there are all these weird symbols and calculating how much your air you'll have at different depths and stuff i don't know if that's what you're talking about or not you needed a dry suit for that but you got your certification yeah yeah when i did my certification uh it was 115 degrees out in at a muddy lake in texas so not the most enjoyable of diving experiences. But hey, I still got certified and dove with some people and met a few people. Uh, at least the Muddy Lakes are warmer than the Pacific. True. You have a friend in Oklahoma City who owns a dive shop? Yeah. Dive trip income. You'll never get hot tub ran, but maybe you'll get scuba diver ran. I mean, I got... I got my... Um, I got all my gear in my closet over there. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. I would actually love to go on a dive trip. I would love to do that. I've never been to Hawaii. I'm sure it's ridiculously overpriced, but I would love to dive in Hawaii or basically any tropical locale, but Hawaii has been a has been a dream trip of mine for so long. Underwater stream win, I know, right? Muddy lakes are great for hiding bodies though. True, true. Sadly, I didn't have any bodies I needed to hide for my dive trip. Okay, let me uh, get this going here. I don't want to use hack weapons. Board weapons. Ion black. 
And... Set them on fire for rock borders. Oh man, that engine's gonna repair this in time, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Somehow. Okay, good. No, he did repair it. Damn it. Okay, now we're good. No repairs allowed. You want to dive in the Bahamas? Oh, I bet that's amazing too. I mean, basically anywhere tropical diving, I, I'm down. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it'd be ridiculously expensive to, to do any of that. Uh oh. Does this cloak come back up here? Yes, it does. Okay, good. But hey, maybe I'll splurge on a dive trip and we can go diving somewhere. That sounds awesome. Speedo Rand. No, I would not be wearing a Speedo. Um, you've been to a dive in Hawaii, but that's different. You've been to a dive in Hawaii. Does that mean like a dive bar? But your own mask and snorkels, just rent everything else. I, I have my own fins, I have my own mask and snorkel. Although, I'll be honest, I have a problem with ear pressure with diving. So, if I do some more diving, by the way, I have 500 scrap. Um, one of the guys that I dove with linked, there's these masks that you can get that cover your ears. That's supposed to let you regulate your in-mask air levels better because your ears are covered with your eyes and nose, and so when you blow out air in your nose, You can. it's easier to regulate air pressure in your mask. So if I got something like that, I think that would help a lot. Tropical heat, you just die. I live in Texas, man. I live in Texas. 115 with no breeze off of the ocean. Give me the tropical heat any of the day of the week compared to dry Texas crappy heat. Belize has great diving. Yeah. I bet you the Philippines has amazing diving as well. You did some diving in your overseas, but yours was specialized in purpose, huh? Just dive in FTL. It's the same thing, basically. Basically. Yes, I can definitely get a mask upgrade. If I... I, I next time I dive, I plan on ordering a mask on Amazon. That's uh, one of those... Cover your ear masks or something. I'll have to look those up again. You don't love night diving? I've never been night diving. Night diving. All right, what do I want to upgrade? We have so many upgrades we could do. So let's get the cloaking level four. Tillery's max, right? Okay. So I wonder if we're gonna get that option for higher level upgrades that you mentioned, potentially. So I kind of just need power for days here, right? Man, now you got me all excited talking about diving over here. Humidity is a killer in the heat. But the thing is, if you're just jumping in the ocean... That's the thing. I don't care if it's uh, tropical heat if I could just go in the ocean to cool off. You can't do that in Texas. To cool off, you go inside your apartment and have air conditioning. It's not as much fun as jumping in the ocean. Cool down. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna disagree with you though. Uh, the wet heat does suck though. I lived in Houston for a couple years and that was worse. The wet heat is definitely worse than the dry heat. But uh, if it's wet heat, but I can go in the ocean and scuba dive or something, I would prefer that over being stuck in landlocked Texas and having to go in the air conditioning to not be in 115 degree dry heat. Thought I said next time I die, I'll get a mask. No, next time I die, v -v -v, I'll get, I'm going to get an upgraded mask for sure. Equalizing was hard. Once you got to the bottom, it's better. Well, the problem for me was the equalizing it was, you know, every like 10 feet deeper you go, the pressure like doubles or something like that. I forget the exact numbers. So if you have like sinus issues, the pressure, you have to equalize by like, you know, popping your ears and doing different stuff. And if, uh, I always have had problems pressurizing my ears. Like when I was a kid and went on airplanes, I'd have horrible pain because of, I couldn't get my ears to pop. So uh, a mask that helps make that easier would be really nice. 
We work on a boat in the horror stories we've heard about diving scared you off of trying it. Yeah, I mean, there there are definitely dangers with diving, which is probably why there's so many um, online courses you have to take for diving. I learned what the bends was when I do when I uh, when I uh, took my diving classes. Honestly, so many of the online courses for diving feel like they're telling you as many things they can to scare you off of diving. <laughs> like if you do this, then you'll have horrible pain in your joints from calcium or something build up, and that's what the bends is, and like all this crazy stuff. Uh, North Carolina is great for wreck diving. Lots of shipwrecks off the Outer Banks. Interesting. Did the muddy pond, muddy pond in Texas have biting bugs? That would make it perfect. Well, what's interesting is the muddy pond where we did our uh, diving was... Um, it's actually a place made for scuba diving in the middle of Texas. And... Uh, they have, like, sunk ships there. I don't know if it was purposeful to have something to look at when you dive, but it's, like... It's just little fishing boats and stuff they put it on the bottom of the pond to make there be something to look at when you dive. Ruach knows a guy who did underwater welding for oil rigs. That's scary. My cousin did that. My cousin Ben. I'm not sure if he still does that, but I'm pretty sure he had an underwater welding job which is apparently really good pay, but is also really competitive to get jobs because it's such good pay that a lot of people, apparently there's more people than there are jobs available for that or something, what I maybe heard about. All right, so I think we do want to get to the base for the boss because I'm pretty sure we can get one extra upgrade. Your dad told you how he panicked during a diving lesson and it scared you off of diving. Yeah, there was a guy on um, our training, our first training day, um, who panicked. But we were just in a pool, and he was panicking in the pool, so it's like... It, it, is, it is something you gotta kind of train or practice or convince yourself of or something but like if you just can stay calm like one of the one of the big training things you learn when you're doing scuba diving lessons is if something bad happens stay calm that's the first thing they say is stay calm all right but i mean I can understand being afraid of scuba diving. I can 100% understand it. Um, and even when I did it, there were times when you'd get a little bit of fear. But, like, I was never... I was never more than, like, 20 feet below. And they teach you how to, if something happens, make your fast... Uh, what is it called? Emergency... Ascension or something like that. Uh, you heard underwater welding was the second most dangerous job after logging. Okay. All right, we can do shield upgrade, cloaking upgrade, or teleporter upgrade. You know what? Let's go cloaking. We can go level 5 cloaking with level 4 artillery for phase 2 and 3 of the boss. All right. Um, do I care about a sector 8 store? Not that much. So let's uh, let's refresh... These three guys. Emergency ascent. Yeah, something like that. There are people who scuba dive while caving, squeezing through underwater tunnels. Yeah, I saw some pictures of that. Uh, of a person who does that the other day. Which looks... I was looking at the pictures and it was like videos of her doing it. I was like, that looks so cool. It's apparently dive... Uh, underwater cave diving is really dangerous. And you have to get a special certification for that. But it looks really cool. Underwater welding literally cannot be legally done for more than a certain amount of time for your whole life. Yeah. Your father-in-law quit diving class after one day because he couldn't handle breathing with just his mouth. <laughs> yeah, there are some definite, definite annoyances with it, that's for sure. 
Like, I found myself... Um... Getting really dried out. Because when you're only breathing through your mouth the whole time... And the... The... Tanked air you're breathing has, like, no moisture in it. Like, your mouth dries out. That's what I found. Wow, I could almost... Wow, could I actually afford the fifth shield just by saving up a little bit more scrap? Probably could. My backup battery's maxed. Or maybe in the instant teleporter. Okay, maybe I don't spend any more scrap and see if we can actually just get fifth shield with 500 scrap. That'd be pretty awesome. All right, let me swamp my guys out here. Um... Yeah, I'll try to sell a repair drone after this phase and hope that works. And if we got a bad hack there, I was gonna um, jump to the... It's also a safe place if it doesn't get taken over. Jump to the store if we got teleporter or hacking hack. Those were the two I was most worried about. Level 5 cloaking, let's go. Or level, yeah, level 5 cloaking. What would I even sell? The only thing I had to sell is a system repair drone. I want the anti drone for phase 2 of the boss. That's why I bought it. Although I might not need it if, without quickly. You know what? I probably could sell this drone. Probably don't need it. Wow, I cannot get a fire in there. Okay. Okay, do this. Get that guy to stop repairing that. So what ideally I want is a fire in a heal bay and then send my rock dudes over there. That's the ideal. Wow! How many times is that in a row? That's like six tiles at 80% chance to start a fire that didn't start a fire. What the F is that? What the F is that game? Okay. May I please start a fight? I did not mean to send my mantis over there. Crap. Shields are up. God damn it. I should have auto fired the shield thing. That shield breaking thing. Can you stop cloaking, please? Thank you. There we go. There we go. Yeah, a Steve fire beam. The most useless of all fire beams. walking in and out of this room. Oh, crap. I let him through. I did not mean to do that. And that guy dies. Good. Nice. We've kept this guy at one health this whole time. <laughs> nice. Come on. All right. Uh, if I do this, I think it'll follow him, and maybe the fire will kill him. Follow him to the heal bay. Okay, he won't go there now. All right. Finish him there. Beautiful. Okay, and... Um... I mean, I'm gonna have to refresh my guys anyway. Let's just finish it this way.
Value points and everything. I have all the value points. Some of the underwater welding requires that you acclimatize for days, so if something happens at, at the bottom, you are screwed. Yes, underwater welding is definitely a... Um, dangerous job, that's for sure. Alright, now we're just going to let our artillery do everything. Um, so maybe I sell fire beam to get fifth shield. A useless shield because I'm going to be going with level 5 cloaking and level 4 artillery in hopes that we can... Nice, store stay up. Kill him with artillery before our cloaking wears off. That's the goal. Oh man, look at look at all that. Look at all that. Sell that. Sell that. You know what? Let's. Okay, that's enough for the shield. <laughs> Five hours scrap of shields. So we don't need a board. We uh, do want to have anti-drone stuff. Uh, we need this online. Do we care about hacking shields? I guess we hack shields. Have our defense drone online. And we level 5 cloak with our backup battery. Do I even want pre-igniter? I guess I... I guess it could pre-ignite the ion flak taking their shields down. We'll do this. We won't use any weapons except pre-ignited ion flak to get shields down for the artillery. How are the hands? They're doing pretty fine. They're fine. Pretty okay. What's up with the 40 under the health bar? Uh, this ship starts with 40 health instead of 30 like normal ships. Because it's an April Fool's crazy... Crazy... Ship. Okay. Crazy modded ship. Because reasons. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hack piloting. Okay, let's turn off his dodges. Turn on our cloaking. Uh, I didn't even need the cloak. <laughs> Just two shot him. Just two shot him. That's crazy. All right. 25 scrap gets us. Nothing. All right, finish him. All right, this time I'm actually going to insta-cloak and see how quickly... Uh, see if artillery kills it before our cloak wears off with Zeldon shield. Damn. I don't think it does. Almost. So close. GG cookie time. April Fools from Eagle's Eye. What a crazy ship. The fed slug smushed together and all the systems. Super fun artillery build. You suspect this is going to be somewhat easy. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. It's fun though. <laughs> it was fun. Great ship, Eagle Time. That was a lot of fun. Let's check that score. 66 55. <laughs> April Fools love murder hobos. My favorite part was the murder hobo part where we murder hoboed everybody. Got to asking, we weren't there at the time. What did I think of the cloaking image on our ship? It was basically make the ship vanish and show galactic mirage. It was cool. I did mention it. It must have been before you got here, RPG. It felt like when I activated cloak on your ship that the galaxy appeared or something. It was a pretty interesting mechanic. I did like it. I definitely did like that. But a fun one from Eagle's Eye. We have one more April Fool's ship from Zack Dog that we're going to play. But before we do that, I'm going to stretch use restroom, take my last break of the day. Thank you all so much for hanging out and sending me ships and all that stuff. When we come back, we'll play one more ship. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 